So I've gone ahead and ordered three t-shirts from Amazon featuring mid-journey t-shirt designs to check whether the print quality is good enough and I'm really excited to share the results with you. So the first shirt that I actually ordered is this space themed one. Um, the prompt for this was literally just imagine space. I did get very lucky with the result turning out so great. Um, I did add a bit of a frame around the edge of this design. So it's not just like a boring square, but it has a bit of something to it. Um, I, I'm going to leave that frame in the description as well. You can just download it for free um, if you want to play around with that for sort of full-sized designs or images. And with this one, um, like with the other designs, I upscaled all of these with Nightmare AI um, to increase the quality before then editing the file in Photoshop. I didn't just use the upscaler in Midjourney because that does not give you very high quality results. And for anyone who's wondering about my settings within Photoshop, I used a canvas that has the width of 4,500 pixels and the height of 5,400 pixels with a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. And then all of these t-shirts were printed through the Merch by Amazon program and the actual company that they use is called Port and Company. Um, this is a size L with a black color. And yeah, I think this turned out really, really nice. Even if you go in really closely on the astronaut, it still looks sharp in terms of the print quality the edge with the frame also turned out pretty good better than I thought to be honest there's no like weird fuzzy bits where um, you can maybe see some white color shining through um, it does look really good even up close and especially from afar and um, this looks like a very neat high quality design my only gripe with this design is that there's a few bits around the astronaut that do look a bit out of place um, that doesn't really have much to do with the print quality but more with how the AI generated the astronaut and um, like there's a few bits around his his uh, waist and his his torso at the top I look a bit strange but besides that the actual quality of this design turned out great and next up the second image I ordered is this one right here in white size L once again ordered through Amazon through the merch by Amazon program and this one has a repeated text saying beach on it and um, with an AI generated image behind that or in the letters and now this one does look really good the letters themselves very very sharp lines and no blurriness there and with the artwork as well there's nothing pixelated that looks um, like it is low quality in this case the only thing that I would mention here with this image is that the the, uh, palm trees if you actually look up close at them they do look a bit wonky sometimes and not like real palm trees more like a weird mashup of them and so that's something that looks a bit unnatural uh, not necessarily the quality being bad but more once again the way the AI interpreted um, a beach is not 100% accurate but in terms of the print quality itself I think this design looks really good and would definitely pass as something that's just been created with a normal photo and obviously something like Photoshop uh, for the post editing. And last but not least, this is probably my favorite one in terms of the graphic and how it looks as a t-shirt. This is a corgi or a colorful corgi wearing sunglasses and uh, I've cut out the background from this to make it look more like a t-shirt design. It looks really, really nice in person, very vibrant colors. Um, so the in terms of the, the color printing from Amazon, they do do a good job with that. It's not very faded or dull or pastel -y and they do look very bright. Now, when we focus on the edge of this design, I think it is actually pretty good for the most part. Some of the dots and sort of paint splatters around the edge if you focus in on them and look up close they do have a bit of a white border and do look a slight bit blurry sometimes which um, I think is pretty normal that you see that white bleeding through sometimes I have ordered a lot of t-shirts in the past for test prints or for gifts and you do sometimes get that white edge um, around certain graphical elements so I don't think that's much to worry about there is a slight blur on some of these paint splatters around the dog and um, which might have to do with the quality of the AI artwork. I didn't do anything different for this one compared to uh, the previous t-shirts. Maybe this one turned out slightly worse in terms of the print quality, but the center of the dog looks really good and the quality is neat. Uh, the, there's some things around his mouth and his snout that don't look 100% high quality. There's a bit of a blur there and it didn't turn out 100% you know, perfect to how a dog would actually look. Um, but besides that, a lot of the artwork around the edges and uh, around his ears, the sunglasses, 
glasses does look really amazing and the, the way the colors are sort of separated as well looks very nice so not 100 perfect but it definitely turned out really great and looks really really nice um but yeah definitely something to consider that maybe some of the very nitty gritty details of your design might not turn out 100 perfect yet in real life even if you upscale them but nevertheless this is definitely a shirt that looks really amazing and would let and would make a lot of customers happy so if anyone else has done any test prints with ai artwork please comment down below i'd be really curious to hear how it turned out for you and if you want to learn my process of turning ai artwork into t-shirt designs then make sure to check out this video next for my mid-journey and photoshop process